Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn more about certs. We have already seen what are certs and how to simplify certs in the previous videos. You can check the link from description or the i button. In this video, we will see what are similar certs or like certs with four different examples. So let's start. So P and Q are rational numbers. Then then P into root A and Q into root A are called like certs or similar certs. Okay, we can call it as like certs or similar certs. Root two and pi root two are like certs. This is the first example. Now the second example, see root five and minus four root. Five are like certs, and the third one you can see three root ten and minus seven root ten. Okay, so here this is like certs. So these are three examples of like certs. In like certs, the order is also equal. Okay, here the order is equal and radicand is also equal. Here both the radicand is two. Here the radicand is five, and here the radicand is ten. So in like certs, the order should be equal and radicand should also be equal. Okay. Now we will solve some examples. Classify the given pair of certs into like certs and unlike certs. Now see these two: square root of forty-five and square root of eighty. Now we have to check whether these two certs are like certs or not. So for like certs, the order should be same and the radicand should be same. Now here the order of root forty five and root eighty is two. Order is same. Now the radicand is different. See here forty five is there and here eighty is there. But we can simplify this both the certs. Okay. We can simplify this search, so we will simplify both the search and see if the radicand is same or not. Okay, so first we will simplify root forty five. Now root forty five we can write it as nine five or nine into five, which is equal to root nine into root five, which is equal to root nine. Square root of nine is three into root five. Which is equal to three root five. Okay, this is the simplest form of this. Now for now for root eighty square root of eighty. This we can write it as now this eighty we can factorize like this. So here two into two into root five, which is equal to Four into root five, which is equal to four root five. Okay, so this we have got the simplest form of root forty five is three root five, and the simplest form of root eighty is four root five. See the radicand. The radicand is five. Okay, here both the radicand here also the radicand is five, and here also the radicand is five. Radicand is equal to five for both. Okay, therefore root forty-five and root eighty are like or similar thirds. Okay, this both are like thirds, or we can call it as similar thirds. The order of both these thirds is two. That is same. And here the radicand of both these thirds is five. So it is also same. So these two thirds are like thirds or similar thirds. Next we will see four root eighteen and seven root two. Here the order is same. That is two. Okay. And for radicand we have to simplify this third. Okay. Four root eighteen is equal to four into Root eighteen, we can write it as root nine into two. Okay, nine to the eighteen. So we have factorized this equal to four into root nine into root two, 
now which is equal to 4 into root 9 will be 3 into 2 which is equal to 4 3 is that 12 into root 2 that is 12 root 2 ok now simplest form of 4 root 18 is 12 root 2 and 7 root 2 is already in simplest form we cannot simplify this further ok so here the radicand is 2 and here also the radicand is 2 and order of the third is same so the order of both this third is same and the radicand of both this third is same so therefore 4 root 18 and 7 root 2 are like thirds or similar thirds see this two thirds 5 root 22 and 7 into root 33 so here the order is same order equal to 2 order of both the thirds is 2 but see radicand what is the radicand of this this is 22 and here the radicand of this here we cannot simplify both this thirds further this also we cannot write in simplest form further this is already in simplest form we cannot simplify it further and here also see this is already in simplest form we cannot simplify it further so we can write the radicand of this is 22 and the radicand of this is so the radicand is not same order of both the third is 2 that is same but the radicand is different therefore these two thirds are unlike thirds unlike thirds means they are not like thirds okay both the thirds are unlike thirds because here the radicand is different 5 root 5 and root 75 now we have to see whether it is like third or unlike third okay See, 5 root 5 is already in simplest form. We cannot simplify this further. Root 75 we can simplify. Okay. So, 75 we can. First we will divide it by 3. It is divisible by 3. So, 3 into 25. 5. Okay. So, this is the factors. 3 into 5 into 5. Equal to this 5 we will take it outside the root sign. So, 5 into root 3, which is equal to 5 root 3. Okay, see, here we got 5 root 3 and here it is 5 root 5. Okay, see, radicand of 5 root 5 is what? 5. And radicand of this and radicand of root 75 is, after simplifying what we got the radicand here? 3. So, is the radicand same? No. Order is same. Order of both this third is 2. Order of both this third is 2. So it is same. But the radicand is different. Here it is 5 and here the radicand is 3. So these two thirds are unlike thirds. They are not like thirds. Because the radicand is different. Okay. So here we end this video. We will learn more about thirds in the next video. If this video was useful to you, then please like and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.